Yo, what's up guys, Forrest here with another CSGO video. Today I'm gonna show you the cheapest blue inventory for only $10. I'm using the Steam market prices and the prices will be in US dollars. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, we have the battle card Block of World. This one goes for only 9 cents on the Steam market. This is a really good looking Glock for its price and the battle scarred version is even better. Since it has this skull easter egg on the side here as you can see, it's a really cool looking skin. Next up for the CT side we have the USPS Guardian. This one is in field testing condition and goes for $1.27 on the Steam market. This was the cheapest USP on the market, although the USP blueprint is kind of better looking, but the price of the blueprint is higher, so that's why we're going for the USPS and Guardian. And if you prefer the P2000 over the USP, we have the P2000 Oceanic in factory new for 27 cents. This is a really good looking skin for our blue loadout, and the price is really cheap for a factory new one. Fits perfectly if you prefer the P2K. Then we have the Tech 9 Ice Cap. This one is in field tested condition for only 11 cents. This skin got introduced in the Gamma collection and it was the best looking blue Tech 9 on the market for the low price. It fits perfect for the inventory. Next up we have the 5.7 Forest Knight in minimal wear. This one goes for 1 cent. Although it isn't a vibrant and bright blue color, it was the only low budget blue 5.7 obtainable on the market. And if you prefer the C set over the Tech 9 and the 5.7, we have the C set 75 Indigo in field tested condition for 12 cents. This C set comes from the new Canals collection and the color scheme is really good looking. I do like the dark blue color with the black hair. Really cool. And for the dual Berettas we have the Cobalt Quartz. This one is field tested and they go for 20 cents. The pattern on these pistols are really cool and the blue color got this deep ocean vibe which suits the pistol really well. Next up we have the P250 Balance. This one is also in field tested condition but goes for only 14 cents. This is actually one of my favorite P250 skins and it is really cheap P250 skins for the good looks it have. I really like this one, it looks cool. For the Deagle we have a field tested Desert Eagle Blue Ply for 25 cents. It is a great looking Deagle and it looks similar to the Blue Laminate skins. This is actually a pretty underrated Deagle skin in my opinion but it fits our low budget blue inventory perfectly. To stay within the $10 budget, we had to go for the AK-47 Baroque Purple. This one is in battle scarred condition for $1.63. It is a really good looking AK skin, although it is not completely blue. It is the closest to blue we could get without going over our $10 budget. Next up we have the M4A4 Dark Blossom, in field tested condition for $1.21. This M4 skin has a really dark blue blossom pattern going on, which is pretty cool and fits the M4 really well. Pretty good looking skin for the cheap price. Then we have the Galil Rocket Pop. This one is in well worn condition for 38 cents. This is a pretty sick looking Galil which suits the blue themed inventory perfectly. It is one of the best or if not the best looking Galil skins in its price range. Since there really isn't any other cheap blue FAMAS skins, we have to go for a FAMAS from an old collection. Here we have the Sienna Spatter in field tested condition for only 4 cents. Like I said, there isn't so many blue FAMASs to choose from within this price range, so this was kind of our only choice. For the SG553, we have the field tested Aloha for only 7 cents. The Hawaiian vibe is strong in this one, since it got this Hawaiian plant pattern on the gun. 
I would personally take this SG skin over many others available in the game. And for the AUG we have the Navy Muarana in field tested condition for 13 cents. This is a pretty new AUG skin which looks pretty sick. It has a really cool pattern going all over the gun and even on the barrel. Pretty nice dark blue color and yeah, looks great. Next up for the Scout, a field tested mainframe 001. This one goes for 21 cents. This is a cool high tech skin which suits our blue themed inventory pretty well. It is a new Scout available on the market and it is pretty cheap. It does look cooler compared to the other blue Scout skins within the price range and that's why it deserves to be included. Then we got the AWP Atheris in field tested condition for $2.84. This is the best looking AWP skin for its really cheap price. This, this skin got added in the Prisma case and dude, it's a sick looking AWP skin. For the SCAR 20 we have the field tested blueprint for only 7 cents. The blueprint is a really nice skin and looks neat. It suits the SCAR pretty well and uh, since it's only 7 cents it deserves to be in our blue inventory. Then we have the MAC-10 Oceanic in field tested condition for only 9 cents. This is a pretty cool looking skin for the MAC-10 with, with a leaf pattern going on. This is the cheapest but also the coolest blue colored MAC-10 skin. Uh, there were some other blue Mac 10s uh, as well, but this one for sure is the best looking one. Sadly for the MP9, there is no blue skin within our price range. That's why I decided to go for the Goo in field tested condition for 37 cents. The grey and black bluish color skin is the closest we could get to a blue colored MP9. It still looks pretty cool, I believe. For the MP7, we have the field tested series for only 14 cents. A pretty neat looking MP7 skin. And I really like the blue metallic finish of the skin and uh, even the even with the little skull on the side. All in all, a good looking skin. And if you prefer the MP5 over the MP7, we have the co-processor in field tested condition for 29 cents. This skin is from the newest Nuke collection and uh, have this really cool circuit board pattern. It really doesn't look worn at all, even though it's in field test and condition. A cheap, good looking MP5. Next up we got the UMP Exposure in field tested condition for 34 cents. This is one of the sickest UMP skins in the game and the price makes it even better. It got introduced in the Spectrum 2 case and the bones under the X-ray makes it stand out from other skins. Overall, a really cool looking UMP. For the P90, we got the Battle Scar of World for 11 cents. This is such a cool skin because of the easter egg. When the float gets high enough, you can see all the drawings and all the writing under the paint. This is an awesome skin and goes along with the Glock of World we already have in our inventory. Next up is the PP Bison Night Riot in field tested condition for only 6 cents. This is the best looking blue skin for the bison in the price range. It got this blue camo and black carbon fiber pattern and uh, yeah, it's a pretty dope skin for its price. For the Negev, we got the Minimal Wear Man of War for 12 cents. This blue metallic paint and the gold on its gun makes it look way more expensive than it is. There's a couple more blue Negev skins in the same price range, but this one is the best looking one by far. Next is the Max 7 Cobalt Core in field tested condition. This one goes for 13 cents on the market. It is a pretty old skin. But it got this futuristic design going on, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this skin fits our blue inventory nicely. The last skin we got is a field tested XM Slipstream. 
This one goes for only 7 cents. This smoky grey and vibrant blue pattern is kinda, kinda cool. And since there is no other options for the XM in this price range, it makes it an easy choice for this inventory. And the total price of our cheap blue inventory is $10.12. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you would like to see more skin related videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to stop by my stream. I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link to my Twitch down below. But anyways, that's it for today, peace out.